January 31st, 1944, a small military plane leaves Charlotte, North Carolina, en route to Nashville, Tennessee. The small UC-78 aircraft carries four passengers, three officers, and a civilian. They were flying in a day when there were low clouds. The clouds would have obscured the top of the mountains. The flight plan calls for the aircraft to fly directly over the Smoky Mountains, where the highest peak is over 6,000 feet high. With no GPS to guide them over the mountain range, the pilots rely on analog instruments and their line of sight. They are going to be very careful as they approach the uh, mountain range to make sure they approach it at the right angle and the right altitude at the right speed. They are going to be on edge. They continue on their flight path. But then, all of a sudden, the pilots struggle to maintain control of their aircraft. The airplane was a twin engine aircraft. It would have been loud. You would have heard the engines revving and slowing down, revving and slowing down. And uh, one of the engines was sputtering. And it still didn't know that it's got 5,000 more feet to climb. And it was obvious in distress. The plane struggles to gain altitude. But then something goes terribly wrong. Everybody break! We're going down! Yeah, they made it! 